never changes. In 1776, this great nation accepted that armed conflict was the only way to preserve our rights to life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. If our founding fathers could only see us now. From Antietam to Amiens, Okinawa to Anchorage, we have fought. And now, the Red Menace is at our doorstep. Democracy itself is under threat of annihilation. That is why today, July 4th, 2076, 300 years after our great nation began, we gather together to honor the completion of Vault 76. This sprawling underground shelter may have been engineered by Vault Tech, but it was built by you, the good people of America, so that if the bombs do come, if the end does come, our way of life will endure. But not everyone will be saved. Those chosen to enter this vault must be our best and our brightest. For when the fighting has stopped and the fallout has settled, you must rebuild. Not just walls, not just buildings, but hearts and minds, and ultimately, America itself. So as we stand here today, we pray that the world will know peace. But if that is not our destiny, if war must come, we stand together knowing that here in Vault 76, our future begins.
task with nothing less than the rebuilding of America. Such a huge responsibility. Just know that Hello. is proud of you. I At am last! Proud of you. Today is your reclamation day. I bet you're just bursting your bolts to get out there and see the world. Nothing at all. The exterior sensors were taken out of commission after that unfortunate business with the nuclear bombs. With so many of your friends having been gone so long, I cannot begin to speculate how they've transformed Appalachia already. Excellent. Adventure and opportunity awaits you, sir. The kiosks have valuable information to help you thrive out there. Best get cracking! Wakey, wakey! Eggs and bakey! Eating raw meat? Bad. Eating irradiated raw meat? So, 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 so bad. Hunger and thirst can increase your disease risk. Always stay stocked with medicines. And don't forget to use them. in here, but you'll soon be faced with a distinct lack of power and shelter. Teamwork. It's what built America. It's what built me. Think of the camp as a mobile home away from home. Well, you know, just your home. Thank <laughs> you.
Sir, those young ladies down there, they seem exceedingly alive. They haven't yet made any untoward advances, but perhaps you could speak to them? Verify their intentions are civil? Only that they appear to have some vested interest in accessing the vault. One seemed quite perturbed when I told them that wouldn't be happening. But I'm not sure if she believed me. Oh, do be careful out there, sir. There's got to be a way in there. Maybe... Wait, a vault dweller? Hey there! Whoa, whoa. Just a friend here, not a threat. Just had some questions for you. You came out of the vault, right? I thought it was empty. Wait, is the door still open? God damn it. <sighs> we got a tip from the Wayward. Heard of the place? A new bar down the road. So this guy told us that... After you gave him the last of our caps? And he said that inside that vault is the... You know, that's where the big one is. Our last chance to turn our lousy luck around. You know, the thing that brought everyone back. Treasure. But... I told you, Lacey. The guy was scamming us. But... Those were the last of our caps. No. Someone has to know something. We're just gonna stick it out until we find them. Wonderful. Thanks for answering some questions for us, I suppose. Seems only fair I return the favor. Anything we can answer for you? They sent you out here without a weapon? Be a quick trip trying to do this unarmed. Here. Hmm. If your overseer crossed our path, she sure wasn't broadcasting it. Sorry. You might ask at the wayward. Seems like they set themselves up to be a natural stopping point. Watch yourself out there. So many places to explore. Looking for new places to go. 
trying to find my way around this land. You know, on my way here, I saw a place you may want to check out. Want to know where it was? It was right here. Take a look. You'll never know what you might find.
Lady, I will paint the walls with you if you don't tell me where Crane's treasure is right now! Sweetheart, honey, you picked the wrong time to get a drink. What are you? Hey! Who the hell are you? None of your damn business. What's going on is that this one seems to think I know where this big treasure is, and that I'm building my new bar out of refuse for fun. Lady, this is your last warning. Our crew is getting that treasure. And I will happily send you both to the great goddamn beyond if you don't start explaining where I can find what's ours. Hiring? You serious? You got a gun in your face and the first thing that comes to mind is picking up a side gig? Hmm. Guts like that might take you places. What say you and I finish shaking down this broad and then we... I told you it was gonna end badly. Ah! Now I'm hoping you're here to have a drink and play nice. I've had a gun pointed at me more than enough for one day. Huh. Well, not exactly the introduction to the wayward I would have hoped for. Well, sorry about that, darling. First round's on me. Name's Duchess. There's something I could do for you. Your guess is as good as mine, sweetheart. He busted in here saying I needed to turn over the location of some fellow named Crane, who I guess I must have served at some point or another. Since then, a steady stream of miscreants has been making my life irritating. Not exactly good for a budding business. Well, thank you for stepping in back there. If you ever need a drink, you pay us a visit. Well, look who's back. Anything I could do for you? Now that you mention it, I could use an extra pair of hands. See? That boy we put down? He's not the first of his crew to roll in here. But I want him to be the last. Normally, I'd send my people out to clean house. But my muscles run off, so I don't have the bodies to spare right now. But I'm willing to pay good money if you put an end to this for me. So, what do you say? That's what I was hoping. So, the details. Now, each of these boys came in asking after Crane. I'm thinking we can make that work for us. How would you grab the attention of a bunch of single-minded thugs? Oh, darling, um, see, as fine as that idea is, you know, I was thinking we could take a different tack. Just give me one second. Huh, okay, I think I'll just... Uh... I just want you to know, architecture ain't exactly my forte. Huh, not half bad. So what I have chicken scratched together here for you is the schematic for one custom-made Crane Treasure Hunting Inc. sign. If I didn't butcher the plans too bad, it's got a little system built in that'll make sending out an advertisement and getting this gang's attention a snap. You just need to build it, use the tape it spits out to tell the world you're open for business, and then convince any punks that show up to tell you where their boss is hiding. They did teach you all how to build from schematics up in that vault of yours, didn't they? That's the spirit. Hey, if you need a refresher, good old Morty Mort can help you out. What are you on about, Mordecai? 
Hey, no, nah, I'm not bragging or anything, but I've got some tapes that cover that very subject. Oh, Mort, not the tapes. Well, you find yourself wanting a refresher? Talk to Mort. Of course, you're gonna need materials, but we should have enough lying around to cover you there. Get you together a little care package. Throw some rations in there, too, so you don't starve on me. And so you know, you might have to break some of this scrap down for parts. But I can spot you some workbench materials, too, since you're doing me such a big one. Who knows? Maybe you'll learn something while you do it. Now, you ready to get this show on the road? Hot dog. Be good to have those dolts off our back at long last. Just make sure, once you find out where they're hiding, that their leader gets the message. The wayward gets left alone. Oh, and on the topic of leaders? You know, one of my people found this tape in the camp across the way, recorded by one overseer of Vault 76. It's a little out of date at this point. But it seems it might have been left for someone from her vault. Maybe it was waiting for you? Sounds like she set the camp up so her people could get some practice in self-reliance. Probably worth looking into if you think you could use a little refresher. Glad to hear Vault Tech actually took care of some of their people. You hear these rumors, right, about them just throwing folks to the wolves. Here's some rations and a fancy suit. Good luck. Well, don't you worry that smooth little face of yours. You are in good company now. Because around here, we look after one another. Now, what can I do for you? Allergies. Learned the hard way. I can't stand within 10 feet of a strawberry. <laughs> Come on, man, that's a joke. Truth is, I was outside on Doomsday. Now, you see, I drove security, and I was coming back from a pickup in the truck when I feel this rumble, blah, 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 and it quiet. Then a whole lot less quiet. And the truck was hit with this wind, and it was like someone dropped a hurricane on it. I can hear it battering the truck. Bang, 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 like it's got a grudge against it. And then I unlock the door and into the back, and then... Bang, I wake up, man, and it's crazy. Somehow, in the back of the truck, alive and kicking. And all it cost me was my skin and any opportunity for someone liking me for anything other than my lovely personality. And that was the day I became, well, they call us schools. Not the most flattering name, but still, beats being vaporized. I mean, it's got its advantages. Main one is that radiation rolls off me like water off a duck's ass. Can stride through a blast zone like it's a spring breeze. Also, means I can survive in situations that would turn a normal person into a TV dinner. The major downside? Well, shit, you're looking at it, right? Head to toe disfiguration. There's also, well, you might have seen them. Not all ghouls are saying. Not sure how it happens. Why some ghouls lose their minds and others don't. But ever since I turned, there's always this nagging feeling just at the back of my mind that I will have to feast on humans! Seriously? Seriously? Nothing? Shit, I thought it was funny. Overall, though, being a ghoul makes bag. Can't say I'd recommend it as a lifestyle choice. Listen, friend, you happen to be talking to the exact right person to fix your predicament. But if I'm going to help you, I want something in return. All right, listen, I got this plan. And you're going to help me get rich. See, the folks who made it big off the gold rush, they weren't the prospectors. They were the folks that sold them their shovels. Now, I don't do shovels. What I collect 
is knowledge. I can go all sorts of places, you folks with your rad sucking skin can't. So, I'm selling what I've got between my ear holes, and you're gonna test it for me. I made these hollow tapes. Now this sets all the info I dug up about that camp doohickey you bolters got. All I'm asking is you give them a listen and let me know what you think. You will? Oh, I mean, <clears throat> thanks. Just come back once you've taken them out for a test drive. Now, is there anything else you wanted to chat about? Some other time. about your camp. Now, former vault resident or someone who killed a vault resident, let's start off with the basics. Placing your camp. When plugging down your camp, C-A-M-P, that's an acronym, for the first time, remember to, oh crap, where did, uh, oh, here we go. remember to take the lay of the land. Consider the grade of the terrain general defensibility and proximity to your surroundings. Could that clip be used to protect your rank? You bet your chops it could. Once you've found the perfect spot, it's time to move on to the best part of working with your camp. Construction! Construction can be an intricate process, so a steady hand and an eye for detainment, <clears throat> detail, damn, I had to get that one. Duchess is damn and lucky eye for details up are a must. Hope she you should take a moment to familiarize yourself with the camp's patented intuitive construction interface. But don't worry, we'll cover construction in gory detail in the next of Headmaster Mort's edutapes. So long. Duchess let you try one of her drams yet? Word of advice, keep it to one.
Tape issue. Please deposit Stella tape into any relay system terminal. Target mark. Dedicated listeners, welcome back to Headmaster Mord's Edutapes. Today, in this second tape, we are talking construction. Now, the first step of construction is... Wait, what? Is that soda? Soda's red, right? Wait, oh. <clears throat> electing. First, electing what you're going to build. Once you've made that election, it's just three easy questions to construction success. One, is the location I've selected going to work for an object of the size and shape I'm building? Two, have I read the schematics thoroughly? And three, do I have all the required materials to... Who the hell bled on my notes? Saul! If I find that was you, you're gonna bleed on... Whatever. Just mm -hmm. make sure. Mm -hmm. Short on materials? Loot the local junkyard, mills, and warehouses for parts. Missing a critical schematic? Your local vendors might have just what you're looking for. And on that note, this has been Headmaster Mort's Edutapes, Edutapes. See you again soon. Solomon, so help me, this better be dead. Where are you hiding? Cap's cutting your fingers? Drop them into mine. It's just about time to eat. If those raiders come snooping around, you're not going to it. It makes the world go round, and also gravity. Don't take either for granted.
I'm always looking for a good trading partner. Hey, you got anything you don't want anymore? This place has a lot of potential. I got what you need. Door something close. This stuff is hard. Responders are here to keep you safe, citizen.
Message uploaded. Initiating broadcast pulse. Attention all consumers. New business established. Please seek out Crane Treasure Hunting Incorporated to exchange goods and services. Initiate tagline. Follow the sign to fortune. Broadcast complete. People have come back to this area. No, a little dark to be out on your own, isn't it? We got a calm, clear night. Perfect for watching the stars. I know what you mean. And being well rested makes a hell of a difference. You're not Crane. The hell's going on here?
Whoa, whoa. I'm not with any gang. Crane has just been MIA for a while. I was hoping to check in with him. You know where he is? The wayward, huh? It might be I pay the place a visit. Appreciate the tip, not Crane. Good luck out here. That's it? Thought you were some kind of big shot. So, rumor is you've got information our boss wants. You tell me where this treasure is, and he's willing to leave you alone. Scout's honor. How about you just tell me where the treasure is, and if I like what I hear, I'll tell you where you can hand in your application. You think we're idiots? The only thing in 76 are a bunch of wimpy, soft-shell rich kids that got to nap away the apocalypse. Now, start flapping, or things are gonna get messy. No, you first. No, you first. No, you first. No, tell me what I want to know. Okay, fine. We're at the West Virginia Lumber Company, okay? There. Now tell me where the hell the treasure is. So that's how you want to do it, huh? Suit yourself! 